Hi, this is Mrs. Perry Ising with a tutorial for my Deer Park High School multimedia class. I'm going to show you how to get started with Final Cut Pro 10. So the first thing we want to do for our class is we want to go ahead and create a library so that we can store all of our projects and media in. So think of a library as being a filing cabinet. So for our classes, let's assume I'm in period one. I'm going to go to File, New, Library, and I'm going to call this period one. Actually, I'm going to call it period 1A for my A-Day classes. It's going to be saved in the default folder, which is the Movies folder. So let me say Save. Now I have a library called Period 1. In that library, I'm going to have Events. An event is the place where you're going to store your media that you will be using in your project. And by media, I mean video clips, photographs, and music. Final Cut, by default, gives you an event that is dated. I don't want to have my event be named by a date. I want to give it an actual name. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to get rid of the date as the name and I'm going to create my own name. So I'm going to say uh, USA NTIS footage because that's the name of the event that I filmed this summer. So now what I want to do is now that I have the event or like a folder made to store my uh, media, I want to go get that media. So I can click on the icon here or I could go to File, Import, Media, whichever way works for you. A menu will come up where you can find your media that you'd like to import. So my media is in a folder called NTIS 2017. So you would go here and go through your different folders to find your footage. So with that being said, here is the list of footage that I have within the folder called NTIS 2017. I could click on one clip at a time to import it. Or if I wanted to use clips that are not right next to each other in the list, I can hold down the command key and click on things that are not right next to each other. Or if I wanted everything, I could say command A. Now, where is it going to go when it's imported? Well, we just set up the event called USA NTIS footage. So I'm going to say add to existing event. If I wanted to create a new event for some reason, I could have clicked here. For the most part, I'll just leave everything else to its default and I'll come down to the bottom right hand side of the menu and say import all. So now as your footage is importing you can see what the status of it is by doing one of two things. I can look over here and see what my progress is or I can go into uh, window and I can go into background tasks and you'll see right over here what percentage of your video has imported at this point. So I'm going to close that out and then what you'll see over here is your browser and you're going to see the clips that you're going to have available to work with after your import. So once my clips are done importing, the next thing I would want to do is I want to create a project. Now remind you, I can make multiple projects out of the same footage that I went out and shot. So for our class, let's say you go out and you film a football game and then maybe you interview the coach or you interview a captain. So you could make multiple videos out of the footage that I have in this event. The word project is the same as saying video. So let's say I interview the coach and then I put a little B-roll behind the interview. That's a feature. That could be one video that I make. Maybe I want to make a montage of all the best plays in the game. So I do a highlight reel video. So that would be another project that I would make. Maybe I want to do a complete game coverage where I just keep track of the score throughout the game. That could be a third video or third project that I make. So let's start my first project. I would come up to File and say New Project. And so what are we going to call that project? Let's say I was doing a montage. I'm going to call it Montage. Where is it going to save? I'm going to save it in the Events folder, USA NTIS footage, the one that I just created a few minutes ago. We're going to go with the defaults here because we shoot in uh, 60 frames. So let's just say OK. So for our class purposes, go with the defaults. And now you can see right here, it says projects. This thumbnail is blank because I didn't put any clips in my project yet. That's for the next video. So that's how we're going to get started. So just to review, we start out with a library. And a library is like a filing cabinet. Within that library, we're going to make an event. And that's basically a folder where we store all of our media, video clips, photographs, music. And then once we do that and we bring in our media, then we go ahead and make a project by saying File New Project. And so I could have many projects here all using this same footage. 
depending on what I'm filming and what I want to create. Okay, I'll get you next time.